guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be recording all things, everything skincare. This video has been so highly requested. I don't think it's particularly because I have the best skin. It's probably because I have the worst skin to begin with. And now I just have a much better skin. You know, not like necessarily I was born with a great skin. Right now, I'm telling you, it's 143 48 a.m. Okay, put the kids to sleep, everyone asleep, and I'm just here dedicated filming, dedicated to put this video up by tomorrow. Let's hope so because just I just got so many requests and I just need to be more disciplined with my YouTube. So if you can give me some likes and some subscribe, I would highly appreciate it because guys, it is not easy to make a video with two little babies. Look at me, 2 o'clock in the morning, making videos. See how much I love you guys. Okay, let's get started because I'm not even kidding. I have this much stuff like to talk about. A lot of stuff. Okay, first and foremost, I'm just gonna go... Um, I'm gonna go into my skincare stories first. So if you don't want this part, just jump right through the skincare routine. I will leave all the timestamps down below so you can just check it out and fast forward. I think this story is important to be told because um, that's how my skincare journey started. It started when I was like, I have a bad skin when I was studying in America, it was around 2014 I think. And when I came back, I joined a reality TV shows in Malaysia and my skin just goes from bad to worse basically. Like so bad. I, I do not know what causes my skin to be so bad because be many things because I was using heavy duty makeup at that time and all I know how to remove it was I thought I was using makeup wipes and I was like ooh la la doing a great job at it you know but apparently not and I was just having so many makeup artists doing makeup on me all the time that I don't know I could be sensitive some of it maybe it's not hygienic I don't know I shouldn't be sharing it could be many reasons basically and nobody knows why until and I just keep buying more and more makeup and more and more foundation I just have no self-confidence I can never go out with no makeup on like I just couldn't you know like I couldn't even go downstairs if I know there's a guest coming in the like dining area or living room with no makeup on it's just impossible I have no confidence at all and all people are doing is just bringing my confidence even lower Everyone will just keep on saying, oh, how your skin? Oh, your skin is so bad right now. Everyone can point the obvious. No one can come to you and tell you the solution. It's like, I don't know my skin is so bad. Thank you very much for pointing out the obvious. Unless you have a solution, guys, really stop like, stop talking about, stop pointing the obvious. Like, we don't know that already. We know our skin is bad. I just keep buying more and more makeup, more foundation, researching more foundation, just mask my skin even more. And the problem is, this problem cannot be masked because I was having small bumps all over my face like Amelia. I actually took a picture to document my skincare journey, but I kind of like lost the footage when my phone went down the toilet roll and I forgot to back up my entire pictures. So basically, I think I have only one picture left. And I will try to post it somewhere in this video. But basically, my skincare journey just changed one day when I had a shoot. I had a photo shoot and they sent me home because my skin is just not good enough to perform in front of a television, you know. They had to send me home. And I was just in the car and I was just remember I was crying. I was so down and I said, I'm going to change this like I'm going to do whatever it takes to fix my skin whatever pain I will endure any laser treatment I will do it all and I will just change and take care of my skin I will invest on in my skin and that is the moment I have stopped spending so much not stop spending <laughs> but I stopped spending so much on makeup and I start spending more on skincare. I start researching skincare. I start researching what should I do, what should I eat, what should I use. And it's all skincare basically. So today I'm gonna share with you 
everything that I have done that pretty much works, I have done it all. First and foremost, to me, the most important thing. Let's start. Let th this is the beginning. I'm sorry. I hope you have grabbed your popcorn and your coffee and all that. Like, because didn't I tell you it was gonna be a long video? <laughs> Hashtag friends, friends for life. Anyway, what am I talking? This is this is what happened when you make video at two o'clock in the morning. You just go everywhere. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. My first important step I learned was to cleanse your makeup properly. I could not intensify this enough. Like, most of you think you have cleansed your face enough, but you really don't, you know? Like, you just need to... Um, you just think like you're like washing your face and it's enough. It, re it really isn't. And I was using makeup wipes and that really didn't do enough job because for my heavy duty makeup that I use every day, I need something more extensive. And so I started, this is what I've used ever since for the past couple of years. Didn't change, been faithful to it. Bioderma. You put this along with a cotton pad and just wipe it all over. Maybe I spent like four or five cotton pads depending on the amount of makeup I use every day and this removes makeup amazingly it doesn't clog my pores it just doesn't irritate my eyes it removes all my eye makeup everything just beautifully still you think Bioderma has done a great job at doing the makeup when I wash my makeup in the toilet this is my second investment it is quite pricey and I was waiting for a couple of years before I invested it because I was like really is this worth it just for a brush but guys it's worth it because you never now I don't know how to wash my face without this thing it is my Clarisonic I put in my facial wash on it and just buzz on my just wash my face there's always always leftover makeup left on the brush that means no matter how much makeup remover I use there's always remaining and when I think about it, maybe that's why my face was like so clogged before it's because I thought it was clean but it really isn't. Like all I used was wipes and my facial wipe my facial wash, it's not clean enough. And so this is amazing because the brush is just like it vibrates and so it's like some people ask me why why you have to spend for Clarisonic, why not the cheaper one? I have used the cheaper one. I've used Olay and it's not the same. I, I don't feel the same effect like this one. I think it could have been cheaper. It doesn't have to be like that expensive, but it really works. There's nothing in the market I've seen that works as much as Clarisoni. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to transform your skin into something like it's not. It's just going to cleanse your skin very well. I tried the cognac sponge that, you know, a lot of people wear, a lot of people use doesn't work I feel like it's nothing on my skin and then I use that Oli brush that spins I don't feel it works as well I just feel like it spins you know this one is just vibrates and you feel it in your skin I don't know how to explain it all I know is I felt clean every time I use this I use this I cannot wash my face without this I travel with it I do everything with it like it's the best investment I've made it used to sell in Sephora, now it's not. I don't know where you can get them. And this is my facial wash. This is Purity by Philosophy. So you can get this facial wash in Sephora. It is... In the beginning, I didn't like it because it doesn't foam. And I'm used to like facial wash that foams. But it's bad for you. And then I realized how good this is. This really removes makeup so well. And it, the thing when... A facial wash that usually removes makeup so well, it usually leaves you so dry, like Sahara Desert. This one doesn't. This one leaves you mm, nice, you know? It leaves you cleansed, I would say. I just love it. This with my Clarisonic, been using it forever. This one is not available in Sephora in Saudi Arabia, so I always bring it a lot from Malaysia. I always talk up, like bring 10 or something, so that I never run out of it because I don't know how to live without it. So basically, that is it for my cleansing part. Let's go to second step. Um, this is one of my first purchase when I bought this 
uh, when I when I start researching about skincare is we're going to mask if I haven't said so. <laughs> um, Aztec clay mask. Aztec Indian healing clay mask. I think it's called But This one is a trial set that is available by one Instagrammers in Malaysia. It's called Aztec clay mask underscore Malaysia. And it comes with this small um, apple cider vinegar. It has to be Bragg's brand. And this one together, amazing. It's so strong. I use it until today. Whenever my face is breaking out or crazy, I just use this. And I feel like I like a mask that work, you know, like, and this mask does a job. And when I was, my face was really bad back then, I used to steam my face every day or, or every other day. And when I steam my face, my pores just open and I apply mask on it so that it clears out my pore. It clears out my pores. I mean, that's my, that's basically my logic, but they're not, it works. I love steaming my face. I always steam my face when my face was like, full of acne before. This is another mask that I use, technically. It is a recent discovery, um, maybe last year. It is the Ordinary AHA BHA 2% uh, peeling solution. Okay, what is great about this um, mask? It is, this is like your peeling at home um, formulation. It's like vampire facial, you squeeze on the red uh, liquid all over your face and it will leave you so tingling and you feel like there's small small needle that's poking all over your face leave it for 10 minutes start your stopwatch and then after 10 minutes you just wash it's just like mild at home feeling so I like it every now and then I feel like it's good to maintain your skin and I love it so far I haven't been very disciplined with it but I love it um, listen to me, none of these products are like magical product that you're gonna see a result overnight. That's it, your pimples are gone. The tricks with pimples and skins is routine. You have to do it routinely and have patience and do it. I know like it's so frustrating, you just want the result immediately, but it doesn't work that way. This skin that I have today took a long journey. It took many, many years for me to reach here. And I take it so slowly until today, I'm still like, I don't have a perfect skin, but I have way better skin than I used to. And I'm still learning about it. Like none of this product are magical, but it, it's, it works for you long time, long in the long term. I mean, you're not going to like put it once and wake up. Oh, it doesn't work for me. No. Like I said, there are no ugly women. There are only lazy ones. It requires a lot of hard work. For some of us to have a good skin, there are some others who just sleep with makeup and wake up and still have a good skin. And we hate those girls. But what to do? This is life. What is for, guys? Third, what am I supposed to talk about? SPF. There's two type of SPF that I use. Ever since I start my skincare journey, before my skincare journey, I do not use SPF. But because so much acid and so much serum that you use on your skin, it's like thinning your skin a little bit and you don't want to go out in the sun the next day without protections. So just believe your dermatologist and use the Dem SPF. That's what I do and I think and I see the results. Like my skin now is so much better. We don't we want to prevent our skin from hyperpigmentation and everything in the long run. You don't want to grow old and have all this hyperpigmentation. Um, this is two of my favorites currently. It's La Roche Posay. Uh, I mean, it's a decent SPF. It works. Um, I love that it has a really high SPF. It is SPF 50. And whenever I feel drier on my skin and I want my skin to be more moisturized and emollient, I use this type of SPF. And when my skin is oilier, I use this one because this one is it dries matte. And when my skin is oilier, I use matte. When my skin is drier, I use the oilier one. So this one is Super Goop 100% Mineral Matte Screen. Love it, SPF 40. So these are the only two that I use and I alternate. I never leave home without SPF anymore. Even if I leave home with no makeup, I still use SPF. A must. Because you don't want all the hard work that you put on your skin from the night before gone to waste because you didn't put SPF, you know what I mean? 
and because my nighttime skincare routine is very very extensive I never sleep with my makeup on first of all I never go to bed I love putting all these kind of things like serums oils and everything when I go to bed at night because that's when it works best you know what I mean let's jump to this serums most of my serums are from the ordinary because I think they are so affordable and they work. This one is Granitive Retinoid 2%. Why I bought this? This is more like for anti-aging. I don't see much result for me. But when I use it on my mom, I really see a lot of like... She has way reduced uh, fine lines and everything. I think it works well if you have like more aging skin. But I bought it anyway. I don't reach out for it very often. But I think it works more for aging skin. For my mom, it works best. And this is 100% organic rose hip oil by The Ordinary. So rose hip oil are very good for your skin. It's very hydrating for me and it says like it has a lot of goodness for your skin. For me, whenever I reach this, some t whenever I use this, sometimes in the morning, I find my skin like super duper smooth. It's unbelievable. I don't know why. Like what does it do? I don't know. But rose hip oil. I just love having it in my collection because it keeps it keeps him very hydrated. The smell mm, is is not very good. It smells slightly like fish, like I don't know, like fish oil kind of. But I don't care, you know. My husband is used to sleeping next to like salmon. <laughs> it's the big deal, hubby. Hubby, if you want me to look pretty, you gotta endure all these bad smells that you're gonna smell with. So I look like crazy when I go to bed. Like this is one of it. And this is Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc. What is this? Yeah, this is a lot of people's favorite. So many people love this. Niacinamide and Zinc, it is amazing for your skin. If you have a lot of blemishes, if you have a lot of acne, people love this. For me, I'm okay with it. I'm not so in love with it. I think it works a little bit, but I don't see much difference with it, to be honest. Like, I, there are m other products that I love better, but so many people love this. Every skin varies, you know. There are some products that works for other people, doesn't really work for you. It doesn't work. It works for me, it doesn't, might not work for you. The only way you will find out is you take what most people recommend and then you try it for yourself and see how your skin reacts to it. The thing is you have to be brave, like what do you have to lose? And what I love about pharmaceutical products is your skin is not going to be like peeling like some of those Malaysian products that sometimes you know like you look like peeled lobster product like Tabita and all that stuff like it's very, it gives you a very instant result but you just, your skin just go worse after some times. I would, a good pharmaceutical product it gives you result not instantly but over the time slowly. Because that's what a good product should do. And this one is the Ordinary Alpha Lipoic Acid. This is 5%. This is a concentrated serum to brighten and to target signs of age. I kind of love this product. I love it. This product, whenever I put it on the face, I feel a little bit hot. And then I feel like, I don't know, it smells a little bit weird. But in the morning, I always feel my skin looks brighter, you know, and more even. I, I love it. But they suggest you not to wear it every day. It's probably two to three times a week. Um, that's what I do. Maybe three times a week. I love it. And this one, vitamin C suspension 23% plus HA. These are also cult favorite from The Ordinary. Everything that I bought from The Ordinary are mostly people's favorite. So I just bought it all and to, suck, to see which one I like and which one I don't. Vitamin C suspension, I don't know, maybe it does good for my skin, I just don't like the texture of it, it's a bit weird, like it's a bit grainy, you know, um, I don't know, I'm not, I don't reach out for this very often, sometimes I do, depends on my mood, but most of the time I don't, I just don't like how it feels on my skin. This one is lactic acid 10% plus HA, this is lactic acid which is meant to use to, to give you a slight peeling. You know, like uh, it's a high strength lactic acid. You know, lactic acid are very good, like superficial peeling formula, and it is amazing to do at home. And I think it's very important to do it every now and then, especially when you use lots of makeup. You just want something like to take over, to to remove a little bit of your skin layer. You know, slightly at home. You don't have to go to salon every single time just to do 
this kind of simple procedure. And every time I use this also I felt slight tingling like like a little bit like small ants are going through just a little bit for a while and after that it goes back to normal and I love it. I love anything that that gives me a good result in the morning. Most people like to layer their serums. I personally don't. Um, I like to put toners and then I put my serum on. Maybe I just spray my face and I go to bed. Each day I just different product. I don't like to combine them. I don't know. I feel like that's just how I like it. This one is probably my favorite. You can tell it's almost finished. <laughs> this is the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA from The Ordinary. You can tell by now, most of all my product is pro probably from The Ordinary. They are the first serums that I have invested in. like, And I like it. So I'm not going to buy other brands until I'm complete done with them. Uh, Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA. What I love about this, I feel like my skin are even. The color, it's less discoloration. It's just, it's just more even and less texture. You know, I just, I don't know. I like it. I like it. That's why it explains almost finished. Probably should repurchase that. I have another one which looks like this, but it is azelaic acid ten percent. I probably have left them in the toilet or something. Probably have used it last night. Left it in the room. Anyway, it looks just like this. It is as like I said, I love it. I feel like it brightens my skin every time I use it. I wake up in the morning with more brighter skin and I, I love what it does to my skin. I feel it's more even, less texture, even hyperpigmentation. Those were my problems. I used to have a lot of acne scars. Now I don't anymore. And I like my skin to be more even in the color, you know. I don't like to whiten my skin. Don't get me wrong. Whiten is not what I'm after. I love my skin color. I like it more even and bright so that it looks more dewy and glowy. That's my goal. You know, most Asians like to whiten their skin. That's just not my type of thing. And this is a recent discovery. Um, I've been wanting to purchase it for a long time and my, my sister-in-law just went to Paris recently. And I asked her to get this for me and I've been trying it for one week. So I think it's safe to say I can give my like verdict by now. This is Lotion P50. I do not know how to pronounce this. Biologic Rishish. Rishish. I don't know. All this French name just... I'm not fancy like that. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> so this product, this is the smallest size I think that they have. I heard a lot about this product from a lot of YouTubers. So I've been wanting to get my hands on it. The first time I try it, you cannot, you're not supposed to rub it. It's, it. This is a toner, by the way. So you're not supposed to rub it. You're supposed to dab it. It smells like vinegar. Like I'm chukka, okay? If you don't like chukka, you will not like this. I don't care what it smells like. Like I told you, I go to bed smelling like curry, like chukka, like um, anything lah. Like ikan. Because pakai that minyak ikan, you know, rosehip oil. So, it doesn't matter to me as long as the product works, I don't care how it smells. This product, I just rub it all on my face. While I was rubbing, you can feel it a little bit, you can feel it tingling. But, that's it. I go to, I go to bed that day, I was just wearing that, I think. And I go to bed the next day, and I woke up the first day. I was so surprised. My skin was so soft, and like, so glowy, and my skin was so soft, like, but soft. I love it. And then I keep using it for a week. And now I've been using this and then I put on my serum, Alpha Arbutin on it. I feel like it enhances what my serum does. Like it's amazing. I don't know. I think I'm going to try something more stronger a little bit. This is Lotion P50. I'm going to be investing maybe in Lotion P50 19 70 I think it's called. It's not available in Malaysia. It's not available in Saudi Arabia. I have to ship it all the way. Either you buy it in Paris or France where it's originated or you have to buy it from American website rescuespa.com I think. Um, but so far I think I'll finish this first. It's my current favorite toner. They say use it twice a day. I don't. I just use it at night. Depends on your sensitivity. If your skin is super sensitive, you can alternate every other day. You know, you don't have to follow exactly. You know your skin better than any instruction, to be frankly honest. So I just listen to my skin. If I feel my skin is just 
can't handle it it's too dry today like too cracked and everything i will not put it on since we're going about toner this is one of my first purchase with toner this one it is i'm sure everyone have seen this before this is now available in malaysia yes um, the m plus pharmacy they have the m plus pharmacy which is in bangsa and subang jaya i love this still i love this toner i think it's a basic toner it's a basic witch hazel toner i bought it in rose petal scent i think it works it's just it cleans your skin it's witch hazel you know so it's like before when i used to have a lot of acne it's soothing i feel like whenever i use this i feel it's soothing it's not oily it's not you know it cleans i feel like my face after when i use my clarisonic on my facial cleanser and this i just feel like i go to bed with my face really clean and that's the mission that was basic and i needed all these things that work at that moment because i just have acne i don't want to aggravate my acne i don't want to in introduce lotion p50 to a in congested face i don't think that's a very good idea so i like to start with something that just cleans my face to clean my canvas and this thing worked i still buy it after five years six years, i don't know how many years some of this product has been with me for four or five years i'm that faithful to my skincare routine yes oh i need a drink i've been talking too much this is sk2 facial treatment essence i love it i think it works the only way i put this is either from my hand or i put it on cotton pad and i tap it and i press it on my skin like i put a lot i'm like i know it, this is super expensive and it doesn't smell good it smells like um like sake like i don't know like like fermented stuff you know what i mean like like in malaysia you have that what is that thing tapai it's not like tapai yeah if you know tapai then you know this is what it smells like what i don't like about sk2 i think their product works i just don't think their products worth the amount of money it's just too much like there's amount of there are other products that are cheaper and it works too like the ordinary you know i probably spend way less money for all of that than i do with one or two jar of sk2 so i'm just gonna opt it for more affordable stuff but if you're looking for a good essence i love how I, my skin feel but i used to get this as um sponsored before that's why i was using it and i actually love it their products are good so if you have a lot of extra money to spare splurge on it if i do i would buy them again because they are actually good this one and they have another serums the radiance is a red color bottle that serum also very good i don't know whenever you put sk2 on your face and then you go to bed you feel just luxurious and you wake up the next morning i don't know with a beautiful skin they, their product works i just don't think it's worth the price next are my facial spray these are my favorite facial spray i didn't like it in the beginning but towards the end i realized that this actually i can see some difference on my skin whenever i use this this is by kudali or kaudali kudali i think that's how you pronounce it kudali facial spray glowing complexion and I love to spray this before I go to bed at night or before I apply my serum. I feel like it enhances what my serum does. So I love this. As you can tell, it's an empty bottle. I don't know why I did not throw them. Second spray is some something I just got a couple of months ago, but it's almost like halfway through. This is Mari Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. This one, um, it feels like rose water, it just it does its work. But this spray, it's just, it leaves something else. It's just a little bit more, mm, you know what I mean? But if I have to choose one, I'll probably choose this. But since I'm out of this, I'm okay with this for now. It's just, leave my face smelling good, hydrated, you know. There, there was one day, I actually left home with no makeup and I just sprayed this and I felt my skin was glowing. The entire time. I don't know why. It's not a bad product, I'm telling you. Mario Badescu. Facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I think I'm out of product. I'm finally done. Oh no, moisturizer. I never incorporate moisturizer into my skincare routine before because I felt like I'm already oily. Why do I need? Malaysia is really hot as it is. Why do I need to put moisturizer and make my skin more oilier? But I was wrong. 
you need moisturizer if you're oily go for gel moisturizer if you're dry go for more emollient moisturizer basically everyone needs a moisturizer because a dehydrated skin is an ugly skin you look whenever your skin is dehydrated you can tell you look you look older than your real age that is the thing and you don't want to look older you don't like people come to you like 20 years old and people guessing you're 30 years old you'll be like what these are my current two moisturizer i like to keep it simple i bought this when i was in paris before because it's a, it's it's like must buy items in the french pharmacy one of it is embryolis and i love it when i was in paris it was winter it was like the peak of winter and i was wearing this every day and my skin was just so glowing because this one is so emollient i think it's perfect for like winter cold country your skin it's the perfect amount of hydration and it's so emollient and nice and thick. I love it. But when I came back to Malaysia, I can't be using this on daytime. It's just, it's just too too much for me for daytime moisturizer. So this one, for a hot country that we're living in, is perfect. It's Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I'm sure everyone has seen this moisturizer before. I never admit that I like it. But every time my sister's in town, she used this moisturizer and I'd be stealing it. And whenever she leaves, I just miss it. So recently, I just purchased it for the first time by myself instead of stealing my sister's one because it actually works. I love how it leaves my skin like not matte but not oily. You know, most high, most moisturizer leaves your face super greasy and oily. I don't like that. It just leaves you amount of hydrate. You feel hydrated. That's it. You can just leave home like that. I love using this under my makeup on the days that my skin are normal or oily, oilier. But on the days my skin are extra dry, I love to use embroilies under my makeup also. Most of the time, whenever I feel like my skin is dry at night, I love embroilies. We just wake up to much more hydrated skin. So embroilies and origins are my holy grail foundation. I mean, moisturizer for now. Now that we're done with skincare, there are other tips that make your skin great. Skincare... To have a great skin is not just one thing. Oh, I use this product and I'm good. No, it's a lot of things. It's a combination of everything. And I do it all. I changed my diet when my skin was bad. You cannot, you're not supposed to have the same pillowcase because it can infest bacteria. And so I started washing my pillowcase every other day and I, I just, I'm obsessed. Like, because I, that's where you put your face on, you know, like you don't want bacteria to be infested on your skin so you have to wash your pillowcase every often sometimes there's oil and there's dirt it's just sweats you know at least every week besides steaming my face uh almost every other day and of course never sleep with your face with your makeup on another thing is i change my diet uh at that point of time i remember i cut dairy because i heard dairies are not good for you because Cows are injected with hormones and so when they produce the milks, there are hormones in those milks and whenever you drink, consume dairies, those hormones makes your skin just act out. Hormone imbalance like crazy, you know, like your skin just act crazy. So many people are proven to have better skin after they cut dairies. I didn't cut dairies. I mean, I can't. I love dairies way too much but I reduce my dairies every so often. At that time, I didn't take dairy for like a week or two. I give it a break. I give I give my body a break from dairy. I start taking care of. I start watching what I eat. I stop eating like a lot of junk food. I stop eating too much of oily food. And I was juicing. I was juicing every day when my skin was bad, because um, I just wants to put all the goodness into my body. And I was taking supplements. I was taking evening primrose oil. I was taking vitamin C. I was taking uh, omega oil, omega fish, fish omega oil, that capsule. What else I was taking? I think that was all I was taking. Uh, I was taking all of that because to fix your skin, you not only have to help it from the outside, you also have to help your body from the inside. You have to put good stuff that feed your skin. Like try to quit dairy if you have the courage to and coffee, caffeine. Oh, no, no, no. no. I know, I know what you're gonna tell me. There's so many people with good skin are drinking coffee. 
But they have, those are people who are born that way. People who are not born that way like us. And if you're watching this video, you're probably just like me. That's why you're watching my video. People with good skin, why, why would you be watching my video? Like, like go right now. Or well, why? You could be sleeping with the makeup on and wake up and still have good skin. And I hate you. But people like us, we have to put a lot of extra effort. Like changing your bed, bed sheet, pillowcase, juicing, cut dairies, no coffee. Basically, what you need to have to have a good skin is change your entire life, change your entire routine, change it all. And stop touching your face. Do not touch your face with your dirty hands. You have no idea. I know exactly how it feels because I have been there. I have cried for the same issues and I do not have a good skin and I don't have a perfect skin, not till today. But this is so much better than what I used to have. Like my skin is so much better today and has it's the greatest that it has ever been you have to invest in your skincare i'm not saying stop buying don't buy makeup anymore but let me tell you any makeup will look good and a good skin good but no makeup will look good on a bad skin I promise you because i've tried it i hope i have helped all of you by making this video the only reason i'm staying up 2 o'clock in the morning and I have to wake up in a couple more hours because my baby will be waking up. <laughs> it's because I, I really think it's important to put this video up. And this video has been long, long overdue. It has been asked by requested by so many of my followers. And I think it's important for me to, to do it. And I'm not stingy. I'm sharing all these things. And I don't gain any benefit out of it. Like none of these products are sponsored. All of it I bought by myself. And I'm just here sharing because I know what it feels like to have a bad skin. That's it. So I hope you like this kind of video. Show me some love so that I will feel more motivated to do more of this kind of video. And leave a comment down below what video would you like to see next. And I'll try to get it up also. And until then, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye. <laughs>